Well, I'm glad I checked before I left. The uh, sewer hose has broke, so I have to go down the old RV and use that one. I'm headed to go get the tanks dumped in Smithton, Pennsylvania, Mount Route 70. I have about, uh, I don't know, five eighths of tank. Gas prices here are 3.33 with a car, 3.38 without. All right, going through a toll booth. Let's see if we lose another mirror. I don't remember which lane to be in. Harrisburg and East. Oh my gosh, this is really tight. I flew through that one too. That's probably why I knocked the mirror off. All right, safe. here on a turnpike 349 speed limit here is 70 I've tried to go 70 but every little turn bend in the road feels like this thing is gonna tip over on me and uh, I don't like that feeling these vortex generators waste the money they do absolutely nothing I've been on them um, rumble strips at least 25% of the ride it's not so bad here, we've got three lanes. Uh, I do though, I do get a foul, foul odor. Somewhat of the sewage plant flavor. I've been smelling it for about 20 miles, 25 miles. And uh, I was watching my backup camera, rear view camera, and there's nothing coming out. I'm afraid to go and see where the smell is coming from. So I'm one exit away from the new stand, which is the exit I need to take Interstate 70 to Smithton. I think west. Yeah, west. I gotta go 30 miles, 40 miles east, and then go 15 miles west. Makes a lot of sense. Well, needless to say, when I leave for my trip, I'm not going to be getting anywhere fast. like this interchange and a pickup truck or a van yet a motorhome. It's a tight interchange and it's all confusing. I think I have to be in the far right. I'm pretty sure. It's been a long time since I came out here. Something's beeping. I don't know what it is.
295. Oh, well, went down a little bit. 55 cents cheaper than, no, 54 cents cheaper than the, the last highway we were on. Definitely hear something metal dragging. I don't know what it could be. Probably where the spare tire is. There's the dump station. Well, I was here for an hour trying to figure out the dump station, trying to save my money because I can get it for five bucks, dump it for five instead of uh, ten if I use my good SAM cord. Uh, then I couldn't get the gas pump to work. I got 25 gallons of gas, which got me 191 miles. So that's four, about seven miles a gallon, a little more than seven. Uh, I didn't get propane because there's nobody working it, and now it's too late to get propane anywhere. So I am gonna keep my eyes open. Maybe I'll look it up online. Also, I figured out what that metal noise was. Uh, I don't know how I made it all the way out to here. My Blue Ox flat two set up. I slid it in there, but I never put the lock through it to hold it in. And I never connected the chains up to the, you know, so they're not dragging. The chains were dragging when I go out there, and I'm like, well, I can just pull this thing right out. So luckily, I found that and fixed that. The smell, the smell of the sewer is gone. A lot of things did fall. Um, I'll take care of that later. Oh I yeah, mean, I fixed the drawers that were open. I had to get go forward and back for like 20 times to get this thing smack up to the uh, RV dump station because my big hose that came with this thing is broke and the hose that was in, uh, in my other RV, I, I forgot to bring the keys with me to get into the other RV and I don't have my locksmithing tools with me to pick the lock. I decided to hop off here in Westmoreland County in uh, North Huntington, Irwin area. See if I can find some propane. I know there's tractor supply on oh, Route 48. They might have propane. It's just a really long way home. Not distance wise, but time wise. Because there's a million red lights between here and the house. Or the other way, there's like four. This will be my last toll booth. I've just been going really slow through them and watching both mirrors. Hey, it's so close. Let 
George Pittsburgh. Pump 30. Lincoln Highway. Yeah, seven, seven and a half miles a gallon is not bad. Considering that I started this pretty much every day and let it run for like 15 minutes. When I was first when I was charging those batteries up every night before I went to bed. Then sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night with no heat and have to turn it on to charge the batteries up. I don't have to do that anymore with that new converter. There's a lot of uh, sitting time too. That is a huge, huge U-Haul. It's an old Kmart. You would think they'd have propane there. Well, there's a propane sign right there. And the price is right, but that gate's closed. I don't think anybody's working it. I'm going to go ask. Well, this tractor supply no longer fills RVs. They'll do like girl tanks or the pull behind camper or uh, the big tank, tall tanks. They refer me back to the U-Haul we passed on the way here, which is just next door. They say they're open to 07, but I can't get a hold of anybody there. I hate to make all these lefts out of here and up just to not get propane. There's U-Haul. I don't see a propane cylinder anywhere. And that guy at Tractor Supply said everybody goes next door to U-Haul to get propane. So I said, okay, so I drove over. It did show on Google Maps they have propane. He even showed 329 a gallon which is 20 cents more than tractor supply, but I don't know how much I really even need. I drove all over this place with a cop following me. I don't know why. Probably because my plates go to a Class C instead of a this motorhome. I drove all around here. I saw nothing that said anything at all about propane. So I go inside. Guy says, nope, we don't have any propane at all. It's got to be the largest U-Haul I've ever seen in my life. And uh, they don't have propane. I'll tell you what, if I had a, a truck rental place or a mobile home park, and especially a storage unit, I would have propane, refill, and I'd have dump stations. And it would be money making both ways on those. And water to refill RV water tanks. I probably could have done a better job pulling over here. Coming down off the mountain. I did clean my windshield at the truck stop. I don't know if I made it better or worse. there would not be a difficult task. They don't have buried under the ground. They just literally the propane company puts a tank above ground and gives you the hose and you hook it up and you get propane. Now you do have to have somebody working there that's smart enough to do it. Now I can understand that being an issue in today's world. I think I like these two lane roads much better than a highway. 
it's much easier to keep it going straight. Can't go as fast. It's much easier to drive on. And by the looks of things, I know it's probably hard to throw on a camera. It's probably about 5.30 at night. It's, it's getting dark now. That turned into more of a nightmare than I expected. I got home, filled the water up, went to go level the RV, put the jacks, the levelers down. My mom was guiding me. Back's going up. I guess I pushed down too long. I don't know. I thought they automatically stopped when they hit a limit. Well, one of the something blew out. The whole RV went shaking like it was going to fall over. My mother fell to the ground. She's bleeding now. So I think I got one jack stuck down, one stuck up. Uh, my mother's bleeding. And I tried to open the slide and it stuck halfway. Boats are money pits. My Harleys are money pits. This RV is a money pit. If this is anything what it's going to be like to hit the road then. I don't know. I just don't know. For the time being, I'll just have to find some fairly level places to park. Because I know right now that freeze, that fridge ain't going to work. Well, that's it for today. At least my tanks are empty.